My name is Eric Horstman. I work for Fundacion Pro Bosque, the Pro Forest Foundation in Guayaquil, Ecuador. For us, it's essential because uh, the foundation is the administer of a private protected area, which implies that uh, in order to protect the land, we have to buy it. Uh, based on uh, an initial 4,000 acres of land that a cement company, uh, Holcim Ecuador, has uh, uh, given to us to administer, we're uh, expanding that and buying other land. So yeah, it's important. Initially, our support from World Land Trust was for tree planting. Uh, the reserve, Cerro Blanco Protected Forest, which is a uh, 15,000 acre reserve, protects uh, one of the better remnants of Ecuadorian dry tro tropical forest, which is critically endangered worldwide. Uh, the forest has been heavily fragmented, uh, even within the reserve. It's really a mosaic of vegetation, so uh, in some areas that have been cleared previously before the reserve was declared, uh, we began uh, a forest restoration project, and with the support of World Land Trust, uh, we planted over 4, uh, 400,000 trees since 2007 up until 2012. Uh, recently, we also completed a uh, land purchase and we hope to continue our work in the future. In our case, uh, what we've done is uh, do phenology studies. Uh, we've also done some studies of uh, some, some key stone species like the great green macaw. And what we found is that uh, oftentimes the fruits and nuts that these species depend on for food uh, have been eliminated or severely depleted in the ecosystem. And so our emphasis is to try and restore those kinds of species before anything else um, to provide food sources and, and keep the species hopefully within the reserve and out of conflict with neighbor landowners. Cerro Blanco is probably the the most accessible protected area in Ecuador. It's only 15 minutes from the center of Guayaquil. It's right off uh, the main coastal highway. Um, you know, within a very short time, you're within the forest. Um, most visitors go there for the birds um, because it is a, southwest Ecuador is a, an endemic bird area, recognized as such, and so we have um, nine globally th uh, threatened or endangered bird species, and 30 that are endemic to that uh, southwest uh, Ecuador. Uh, that in itself is, is, is a big attraction. Um, and also just to visit the forest, I mean, it's a very uh, uh, picturesque forest with um, sabo trees, which are the kapok tree, big green trunked uh, trees that are just kind of a symbol of that area and uh, we also have our artisanal springs with a lot of life uh, uh, so that is used especially for educational programs with with kids because they have no access to that anywhere else in the city why they kill uh, for us is is, is crucial uh, because I have we, you know, are, are, are given a space uh, on the international level to be able to present our, our, our work to obtain support that uh, right now it would be difficult to find in Ecuador.